Okay, here we have a scary looking, very complicated equation. There are fractions everywhere, and there are variables in the denominator. It looks very difficult. But it's not as bad as it looks, and I'm going to explain how to solve this problem. So the first thing you have to do is to get rid of the denominator. So to do that, we're going to find the least common denominator and multiply every term by this least common denominator. So let's do that. There are three denominators, x plus 2, x plus 1, and x squared plus 3x plus 2. To find the least common denominator of these three denomina denominators, uh, we need to factor everything. So x plus 2 and x plus 1, they are already in factored form. Two terms together, they are uh, one factor. x squared plus 3x plus 2, we can factor this out. This is in fact x plus 1 times x plus 2. Because 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So the least common denominator is the product of all of the factors. So here we have x plus 1, the first power of x plus 1, and another first power of x plus 1. So the highest power of x plus 1 is the first power of x plus 1. And here we have x plus 2, and another x plus 2. The highest power of x plus 2 is also the first power. So multiply the first power of x plus 2. So these two factors account for everything in the denominator. So this is the least common denominator. And it happens that this is the same thing as this third denominator, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, now we're going to multiply every term in the equation by this least common denominator. So the first term, x over x plus 2, times LCD, x plus 1, x plus 2. And minus the second term, 3 over x plus 1, times the LCD. And that equals the third term on the right-hand side, negative 3 over... Now in this denominator, x squared plus 3x plus 2, we're going to write this in factored form x plus 1 times x plus 2. This will make, e make it easier to cancel things out. And this times LCD is x plus 1 times x plus 2. So let's cancel some of the things out. We have x plus 2 and here and here they cancel. x plus 1, x plus 1 they cancel. And the denominator on the right hand side, it cancels all the factors of the LCD. So we are left with this, x times x plus 1 minus 3 times x plus 2, and that equals negative 3. Okay, so now we have uh, cancelled out all the denominators, and we are left with a nice and simple uh, polynomial equation. So the second step is to simplify this equation now and to solve it. To simplify and solve. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, now let's solve this equation. We're going to expand everything out first. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. Then negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. And that equals negative 3. And then we're going to make the right-hand side 0. We're going to use the factoring method. And then we combine like terms. x minus 3x as minus 2x. And minus 6 plus 3 is minus 3. And this equals 3 minus 3, 0. Okay, now let's factor the left-hand side. Uh, 3 is 1 times 3. And we need to uh, decide the sign of the numbers. 
Now we, the, the sum of the two numbers must be negative 2. So we better have negative sign here and positive sign here. And this makes uh, the sign here also correct. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Okay, so either we have x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0. If x plus 1 equals 0, x is negative 1. And if x, is, x minus 3 equals 0, x equals 3. So here now we have got two solutions. Now this is not the end. In fact, there is the third step remaining. So the third step is to verify your solution. Verify your solution. The third step is an important step and you can't skip it for rational equations. So let's make a little room for it here. Uh, two solutions we got was uh, negative 1 and 3. So uh, we've got two solutions, negative 1 and 3. Uh, we're going to check whether these numbers will cause uh, any problem. So if you plug in negative 1, see what happens. See this denominator x plus 1. If x is negative 1, this is negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. And you know, you cannot put 0 in the denominator. So this is um, a number that causing a problem on the left-hand side. And we can take this as a solution. So this is a wrong solution. What about this second number, 3? If x equals 3, this denominator is 3 plus 2, which is not 0. And 3 plus 1 is not 0. And if you plug in 3 here, we have 3 squared plus 3 times 3 plus 2. It seems that it's not 0 either. So 3 is not causing any problem on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And this is, we can take this as a solution. So here is the answer. The answer is that this is the only solution of the equation.